Good morning and welcome back to No Man's Land. I am Pekamika and today we're doing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> we're cutting the grass, we are harvesting the canola. I'm uh, just going to start this up again. Uh, here we go. And then we're going to go back into this one. So we are present and ready for the work to be done. So, um, last we left off, I had a bunch of money. It's great, isn't it? And now I don't. <laughs> it took me a long time, but I finally managed to cut down enough trees to buy the rope as well as the front attachment to it to do some palm topping or whatever it's called so that's great news the bad news is <laughs> again I'm slow, low on cash and also the working width of this rope that I got is 2.7 I think it is and um, yeah, 2.7. And here it is, the, the rope by the Panther 2. However, there is... Um, I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should save up and buy this one instead, because that's working with a 4 meters. But it's for the Tiger, and I don't have... I mean, I could have cut down more trees to make it, but I just like, no. I'm tired of cutting trees. I mean, I cleared out a lot of trees here, some trees over here, the ones, the big ones over here that was on my land, so to speak. But uh, the rest, to keep doing it, I mean, yes, I could have, if I could get the other one, the other header, the, the four meter width uh, front attachment, I would have either cut down more trees or wait to purchase it until I would need it, which is in August, to be fair, or to be honest, and see if I could make up the difference by um, selling out of stuff and whatnot. But it's just way too much, I feel. So this guy is now um, I did set up this new program here so field 46 is to load drop off is grass unload and it's grass so I won't be doing that at the moment I will be doing yeah here is the ropa in its full glory it's a beautiful piece of machinery And I notice, I mean, the tank is like big as well, 35 cubic meters. But what I need to do, I believe, I don't know if I can get it to offload straight into the, the bunker silo that I will make for um, sugar beets or it needs to offload into a trailer because I believe uh, because I can't afford it at this, as of this time I would need to move my mother bin over there just to have a large place to store the sugar beets because any of my trailers is actually smaller than the internal tank on the Ropa so it wouldn't be able to fill it up fully and, and you know go completely empty on itself like like the harvester is able to do over here because the internal tank is about half what that one is let's see uh, it doesn't show because it's not uh, connected to a tractor 
But if we connect this tractor to that, I don't know, let's just move it out of the way for now. And then we uh, tighten those. And then you are going to get started. So I did set up the, the route here. So it should come in like this turn. And then instead of having the field way over here, I just moved it to be here instead. Because it makes more sense. Because it comes in and offload this way and then goes out this way. And I just wanted to um, like that. And I just wanted to, what do you call it, start to earlier. So it's also when it's done, it's going to go there first, and then it's going to make its way to whatever. So I hope I set it up properly now. It's going to be a bit confusing, but... Or... Wait, does it actually detect that there is nothing here and here and go straight here? Or is it just being silly? It would be great if you start here, waste no time. Is that what you're doing? Looks like it. You have it started and you have it lowered. That's excellent. And this one is full, perfect work, you. I like it. Okay, I can leave you to it. Now I can set this one up. To basically just jump off the front loader attachment. Switch the weight to the front and then check out this trailer. To see what is uh, needed. We can turn this off. I need them this will. Um, so yeah, soybeans, sorry, sugar beets to be harvested next month. I will put a bunker silo over there, one of those open ones, and I will just basically keep making sugar beets, I guess. Um, this silo, it may be able to hold it, but um, as in, in product it can hold, but you know, I need this part over here, so just stop it. Um, I'll just, just drop it off over here instead. There we go. Yeah. And then we drop this off, flip around. I don't need those forks all the way down there, just silly. This is where they're needed. Um, because this one's going to be filled up with a bunch of other stuff now that I have more fields, like the corn, the sunflowers, canola, uh, and wheat when I'm, I'm getting around to do that, which is next year, when it's also going to be full with soybeans. So I definitely need to buy bigger silos, more of them and bigger. Okay, so you're almost done here, it looks like. Let's see what they have inside. You have 74% full, which is great. That means I can move this closer, and then you should be able to get the field done. And now this one has 42%. So place this here. There we go. And as we're doing that, let's head over here. Let's follow the road. Now I can place, like I said before, I can place the bunker silo on this side here, just in case I wanna, you know, swap things up and not do soybeans on that field and maybe do it on this one, uh, sugar beets, sorry. On this one instead of this one like I'm doing now or I can just place it here which is tight in spaces because I don't own plot 27 I sold it again um, 
but again I have space here so if we do which one is it? It's, it's buildings, it's a silo. What does this one say? Manure heap? Yeah. It's not at all what I'm looking for. It's this one. Beet pulp? No, this one is silage. Sugar beet. Pa. It's a small. Sugar cane small. Let's go for the bigger ones. Medium. I don't have enough money for a medium. Well, that sucks. So that's a small, looks like about that size. It's a medium. Is it wider? Is that what it is? How, how is that? Let's see. That is within there and halfway through there. Yeah, that one is bigger. Let's see the large. Yeah, so 45,000 to get a large one. I don't know how much it can hold. However, or fruit and stones, yeah. But I, I get a big one just to be on the safe side. How much do you have inside you now? Um, this is the New Holland. It's empty. Okay. So let me just drop this off. This is to make canola oil. That's the only reason I did canola this time. And it's probably the only reason I will keep doing canola. When I started playing farming sim in 2013. <laughs> or 2015, 2017. I always thought that canola was a great product because the sales number was just so high compared to wheat and barley and oats. But I then realized you don't really get as much from a field of canola as you do any of those two, three fruits. So I mean, I mean don't get me wrong, the canola is still or. Um, Yeah, the sales price is still not that great on those other things. But So let's get started on the canola production. There we go. Um, move down here. Canola oil and activate. Okay, now we just need to set it up. So where is the canola? There, canola 50,000, which is great. Uh, canola oil is spawning, yes, excellent. So this is great, this is not going to take up any space in the storage. Which is kind of empty at the moment, but that's just a temporary thing. It feels so good to be able to set up more automation like I've done. Um, the New Holland is kind of the same thing for us. This place over here, which allows me to do other things at the same time. Like now, the grass cutting and collecting is pretty much automated. The only thing I haven't figured out with this one is to set up what the parking spots are, which is kind of silly. Uh, this one can go ready. The mower I see is ready over there. So I just pray, place this outside the... sheep farm. So what is in the future for the farm in terms of purchases? I think more tractors or better tractors is like a definitely a must kind of thing. I, I cannot keep doing the work 
with um, the tractors that I have. I mean, they are doing a good job, don't get me wrong. But for example, um, the forge wagon, I could make do with a double the size forge wagon, just to sort of speed up the process of emptying out the field a bit. I can also make do with a telehandler, so my stayer doesn't have to work with the forks. Because the telehandle would be powerful or stronger to the lifting of the bales and whatnot, I believe. I could also do with bigger trailers, also for the same uh, reason to you know improve the speed of the way I do things. So I think the next goal is basically getting tractors that is. You know where the top or the lowest horsepower requirement is 300 and then just move on from there I, I guess that would be just large tractors I guess what is the weakest large tractor is 240 so going anything by medium or small is, is no longer an issue or something to look at sorry I think let's see is there a medium tractor that can get up to... Let's look at the high-end stuff at the end here. Yeah, it's breaking, just getting past 300. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's large tractors, I think, is the option here. Let's get the... See, we can stay with the red color, like the Massé. Massé. 250,000. We, we've shown that, you know, getting the money once a year it's, it's not that difficult it's keeping it that is nay on impossible so the next purchase I think the next purchase even I mean I'm, if, if the forklift were able to lift the bales I wouldn't be too worried I'm not sure if it can able to handle the the weight of the bales though but That would be great, but but the forks on the forklift just goes through the, the wood bale, grass bales, so it's it's not an option. Um, so what else? Wait, wait, wait. You just went over there to drop off. Let me. Okay, thank you. Let me just change your course now. Um, plot 4036 North. We don't have that one. So let's create one. Create job. Uh, here, let's start. You know what? I don't know where to start with you. If I do a headland, like if you start there, open course on one headland sharp 15 overlap because you tend to miss stuff which I don't land like let's do if we do clockwise you go this way up here and then sharp 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 if we do counterclockwise and you start here you go this way sharp 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 and then round so maybe let's do that counterclockwise and see what that looks like so you start over there and go around like this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's save this as um, save course. So it's combine 8.5 counterclockwise header. Um, meter. There we go. That's a funny name, isn't it? Start the engine. So 
My bad, placing that over there. First waypoint, there you go. You missed the spot. Any good lands for sale? Look, the prices are good. Let's see, how is 27 now doing? Oh, it's even better now. How much money do I have? <laughs> That's a good price. I don't have the money for it. It's okay. Let's look at... What is it? Telehandlers? I keep looking at telehandlers and I keep finding one that I like. The man too is great. The Massey is great. I do have Masseys already, so I'll probably try and stick to that. Don't know if I have a Manitou, really. Maybe one of the um, um, trucks or trailers is a Manitou. I, rec I remember the name. Or, no. This one is weird looking. No, it's not. It's just a... Oh, the Manitou I have is actually the forklift, so... I just switch it over to make... Is this... Yeah, that's a nice looking... thing. Let's go back and look at combinations. Bale fork, which is absolutely what we need. Um, we don't need this bag lifter. We do need a standard forks, which is pallet fork, which is it guts from Maxi. So, yeah, I think this is the next possible purchase. JCB is a great brand as well. I like that one. Um, so, yeah, maybe just stick to Manitou when it comes to lifting pallets. And, you know, maybe I can get rid of my other thing. The... the pallet fork or the forklift if I get the telehandler then again I like the forklift I'm gonna work towards keeping both but right now I need you to let go of that one just need to offload the grass and feed the sheep and the chicken. Okay. Don't know if this one is in the way for that path, but it should be. Oops, sorry. But I hook it up. Move it slightly, a little bit more off, like this, there we go. There. The only drawback is, of course, that you... Damn it! You have to tab a bunch. What do you call this? How could you freaking miss this part? It's right here, you're supposed to do a sharp turn there, you little miserable thing. Okay, drop you there. Turn around. And then we pick you back up. And I think that since we harvest the canola now, I can possibly plant something else on those ones. What can we plant on those then? Um, I can replant the canola. I can... That's it. I can wait and do barley. Don't see a point in doing barley. 
And so I'm doing wheat on field 29 in September. Um, I, I guess I just redo the canola then. So I just keep going canola on those two fields. Because that's the better option. As to make canola oil, I need a constant flow of canola. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Grab a bale. I think it's somewhere around here. And then we go towards it. And it's missing stuff. Great. Perfect spot. Let's grab the next one. Put it in storage. Hey, don't forget the pa bale. Slow does it. side again. Sure, the chickens doesn't feel left out. I will top up for them as well. Oh yeah, maybe before I start spending money on more vehicles, maybe I should spend the money on more silo. realized that I placed my tractor at the wrong spot over here with um, New Holland being as full as it is it's gonna go through the entire crop to get to the tractor here so let's move it to the other side since it's working counterclockwise so it's continuing over there instead thought about that earlier but it's okay we're here now stop there we go silos yes silos um, 42,000 for 501,500 uh, 100,000. I think I need something bigger. 500,000 is what I have, but it's a small one. This is a small bunker silo. What's this? Stave silo? I'm not sure what that is. Um, the Meridian requires extra equipment as before. How about this large storage? doesn't tell me how much it has, but it looks like plenty. 
230,000. The Unia, 400,000. 10 million. It seems kind of overpowered. This is 440,000. It definitely have enough. But I don't like the house that you have to drive through. Same with this one. This one looks huge. Again, no idea. There was one that I bought in the um, previous season that I liked. That had um, both liquid and... I think it was this one. I like this one. You have liquid on one side and then other storage on the other side. Storage for liquid, all liquids and crops. So let's say I buy this one. And I believe a good spot for it could be somewhere around here. Um, I'm not really using this spot for much. And these two large fields will create a lot of income for me. It's not centralized. Uh, I want it to be. But I can also just place it along here. I'm going to swing it around like this or whatever. It doesn't have to sw yeah, swing it around. And just place it somewhere here in, in plot 35 because I have the space here so I consolidate my production on 35 or some sorts with storage because I have my storage here already I have production here production 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 down there and the fields are of course production so get the beat storage over there keep this one for now but I replace it with this one once I get the money. And depending on how big this one is on the inside, I should be able to store everything I need for the future. And then I can also go with um, cows. Like, I downloaded a mod that gives me a lot of Norwegian stuff. Um, and like the, the standard vanilla animal pens and sheds and whatnot that's a lower number of animals like 80 is the highest while this mod that I downloaded has as we saw 200 as the the, the highest it just costs a lot of money to get it and the same for sheep there are 200 sheep in this one I guess I place this and then you know sort of build a fence around it um, this one gives out silage as well, or is that manure? Silage, which is funny. 25 only, 65, which this is what I have. But I think it may be this one. Something like that. Chicken as well. The don't really have any more chickens actually. That's the one I have at the moment. I don't need another one. Don't need a dog. Just the one. Another. So yeah, that's the process of moving forward. the right option so for now it's the bunker silo which was 45,000 or something like that over there and then moving in forward that one will take care of the sugar beets Ooh, that's not being harvested until way back then so that gives me a few more months to make a little bit more money which is no problem so, yeah, I guess in Can uh oh. Sorry. I'm so sorry for the yawning. I misread this one. Sugar beet is not harvested until October. When everything else is. So, I will plant a new canola next month. And then I will plant the wheat in September. 
because I don't really have anything else to do in September. I will top up on my wood factories as well with some woods. Ooh, should I plant more trees? Should I move into that? I should, shouldn't I? It's not that expensive. And as I said, I've been using the trees a lot. And I can just replant them up there if I want to, or somewhere else around these parts. Yeah, I'll work it out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope I wasn't rambling way more than usual. Um, glad to have you here. So, let's try and make it a occurring event, shall we? So, until next time, please take care, and I hope you had a good time. Bye-bye.